What is up guys, it's Underdog MLB, and today I'm bringing you the very first of the 30 all MLB teams. This is going to be the San Diego Padres team build. Every single card on this team is a San Diego Padre in the pitching staff as well as the lineup, the bench, every part of this team we got a San Diego Padre filling it out and I'm going to be hopefully doing all 30 of these teams. I'm going to do the Yankees next because I'm on the grind for Babe Ruth. But after that, any team is on the table. So if you guys want me to do your favorite team, go ahead, comment that in the comment section down below. I'll try to prioritize you guys' favorite teams. But let's look over the Padres first. We got Mr. Padre out in right field. 99 Tony Gwynn. Absolute no-brainer for this team. Great contact. I used him all last year, and he was amazing for me. In center field, we got the 87 Steve Finley. I hear this card rakes a little bit, so hopefully we can work a little magic with him. In left field, we got the 94 Future Stars Taylor Trammell. This guy's got a lot of speed, and he's got a little bit of contact and power, but he's not going to blow you away with his hitting stats. We got Manny Machado at third base. He's playing up to a diamond today. He's going to rake against lefties, but versus righties, He's probably not going to do too well, but hopefully we do face a lefty. A lot of these guys on this team are better versus lefties anyways. Ozzy Smith is going to be at shortstop. No hitting whatsoever. He's just in there for his defense and speed. Fernando Tatis Jr. is going to be at second base today. This kid is absolutely electric, and he is tearing up the MLB in real life. As you all know, this is his face of the franchise card. And then we get the prime Ryan Klesko rakes versus righties. He's going to be at first base. Now at the catcher position, MLB The Show does have the rights to a legend with the Padres organization, that being Benito Santiago. And he is probably going to get somewhere around a 95 overall card later in the year. But he doesn't have any single version that's out in the game right now. So I can't use him. He also usually has like an 84 overall rookie card, I believe. But that is not in the game. He doesn't have any card that's in the game whatsoever. So that's pretty unfortunate. He would be definitely a very nice addition to this team to kind of round it out. But we don't have him in the game this year yet. So I'm going to be rocking with this Francisco Mejia instead. On the bench, we got Tommy Pham, Eric Hosmer, Trent Grisham, Austin Hedges, and Will Myers. And then in the starting rotation, I'm going to be throwing Luis Patino on the mound. We also got Mackenzie Gore. This guy's a hot prospect. We also got three goals in here. Adrian Morejon, Chris Paddock, and Denelson Lamette. And in the bullpen, we got the brand new 96 Trevor Hoffman, as well as the Kirby Yates, who is playing up to a 9 overall. And then we got Emilio Pagan, who's playing up to an 84. Rich Gossage, Andres Munoz, who if you guys don't know about this guy, he's got outlier on his fastball. He's actually a very, very sneaky good bronze. And then Drew Pomerantz and Jose Castillo are the lefties. So this is your Padres team build in MLB The Show 20. Let's get right in the game. All right, we're going to be on the road today. Our opponent is going to be the Washington Treasure Hunters. We're going to be facing Greg Maddox on the mound. I have not faced this card yet. Hopefully, he's going to be easy to pick up. I hear that he is. This guy's got a lot of faces of the franchise. His first five batters are all face of the franchise cards. He's also got his creative player, Joseph Random. He is 37 and 5. Wow. Tony Gwynn first pitch swing. He's going to get a little slap base hit the other way. That's a nice way to start it off. Tatis. Oh, hanging change up. And we just missed it. He's going to pop it into left field. And that's one out. Klesko in the air. Get out of here. Oh, that's going to get caught. Oh, and we were running. Tony Gwynn, I need you to get it back to the bag, buddy. I messed up big time. No. Why did I run, man? I thought Klesko got all of that, but he's just not going to get it out of there. Okay, well, we hit Lou Brock. That was pretty terrible. And it looks like the pitching glitch is also alive and well. And we hit him as well. Yep. 
Nice to see to start off this game we're gonna have the pitching glitch, so we're gonna need to go to meter. <sighs> and we leave the fastball hanging because we use meter. And uh, he's gonna get an RBI a double, two run double actually. To start this one. <sighs> because when you use meter, you can't control anything. And I can't use pure analog because everything would be going like 10 feet inside. Please get foul. Thank you. Oh my goodness, that was lucky. I, I literally have no control over anything. I mean, we might get mercy ruled. I would not be surprised if we get mercy ruled in this game just because I can't control anything with freaking meter pitching. I don't know what to do, man. I mean, when I have the glitch, there's nothing I can do except go to meter pitching and miss all of my spots. All right, we're hopefully going to get two on this. Fernando with the jump throw. We finally get... Uh, that was our first out of the ball game. Ball four, again, I can't control anything with meter, but I have to use it because I have no other option. Zero things are being controlled right now. I've walked back to back, guys. This is absolutely terrible. We could legitimately go down six. Oh my gosh, man. This is so annoying, man. I can't control, I, I mean, he's going to hit around this inning. He's going to hit around this inning because of a glitch that I had. Come on. Don't even think about it. Oh my gosh, that gave me a heart attack. If Greg Maddox had gotten a hit, I might have just quit. I might have legitimately just quit the game. And there's, there's where the bottom part of our order is taking over. Where nobody is going to be able to do any sort of offensive production because everybody sucks. Mejia? Come on. Did Francisco Mejia just go yard? No way! The worst player on this team is going yard. Oh boy. <laughs> if Mejia can go yard, why isn't everybody else hitting the ball 500 feet? I mean, come on. Coutinho can't locate anything right now. I can't locate anything with meter pitching. Good pitch. The slider on the inside half's going to get him to pop up. That's infield fly. We got two down. If we can get out of this inning, that'd be big. I'm actually going to go to Mackenzie Gore right now. Going to go with the lefty versus Jim Tomey. I know I'm in the second inning, but I, at desperate times, call for absolutely desperate measures. And we get him to pop it up. Let's go. Huge one pitch, one out for Mackenzie Gore. There is no way that Ozzy Smith is getting a hit. Let's be honest here. Oh my gosh. Ozzy Smith with the bloop single. You're joking me. I just got done saying that there's no way Ozzy Smith gets a base hit. And what is he going to do? And Tony Gwynn is probably going to grab a new double play. Unless he can beat it out. And he can. Okay. That was a terrible swing. But we still got life. If Fernando can uh, get a big swing here. We might be one run, one run out of this. Fernando. That's going to be into the corner. Alright. Nice hit. That's a great pitch. And an even better swing by Tatis. We got two runners on in scoring position. We need an absolutely huge hit from Ryan Klesko. He's walking Ryan Klesko. That's probably smart. That's probably very smart. Manny Machado is uh, not very good versus righties. And he goes with the cutter, and I miss it. Ah, oh, man. Missed opportunity. Huge missed opportunity right there. We had to take advantage of that, and we didn't. It's not looking good. One eternity later. I pressed down the button as hard as I might have ever pressed down the button in my entire life. But he didn't swing, and now Lou Brock, 99 speed, is on to start this inning. You do not want to throw that, ever. 
Oh, are we gonna get him? Oh, that was actually really close. That was a really close play. If we got a perfect throw, I think we might have. Oh, Al K line with the perfect, perfect. Absolute bomb. And his creative players going a yard. It's seven to one. Oh my gosh, we might have to be on Mercy Watch. Why is Mackenzie Gore out of confidence? That makes literal negative sense. Oh my gosh, and we just walked Lou Brock. I was literally trying to throw fastballs down the middle so that that didn't happen. And oh my gosh, Dawson's going deep too. We're two runs away from a Mercy. This is absolutely terrible. And again, it's all because of a stupid glitch that just randomly happens to me unannounced at random times. I guarantee you, if I wasn't using meter, this guy's got five runs or less. Because I would actually be able to locate these pitches that I'm hanging. Ground ball to Tatis, we're gonna get out of the inning. But we allow three runs. And we're just two away from being mercy. We have to pick it up. We've been getting hits every single inning, but we gotta get runs. Approximately 10 hours later. We've only got two innings left to score any more runs. And Donnie Gwynn's gonna start it out with a base hit. That's a good start to the inning. Tatis, oh, oh, oh baby, let's go. Bloop single. The bloop god is here. I need that. I need that big time. Oh my. You're joking. I thought we were going to start a freaking rally and I, at least I, I score a run there, but I ground into a freaking double play. Bruh. Machado, please land. Nope. Lou Brock's got blazing speed. He's going to get to that. Well, we cut the deficit down to seven. Like, that's gonna help. Well, boys, we got one inning. We gotta score seven to tie. Eight to take the lead. <laughs> He's going for the complete game with Greg Maddox. He's actually going for the Maddox with Maddox. Finley with a no-doubt shot. Of course, the offense comes alive when I don't need it. But hey, that's a good start. That's a good start, you know. Maybe we can get some going. Who knows? Hosmer, that's gonna be base hit. That's actually gonna get in the gap. Okay, never say die, boys. Oh, we're going to prevent him from getting the Maddox with Maddox. Hey, I'm cool with that. What? Oh, we're gonna be safe. Ozzy beats it out. Let's go. A check swing on a curveball inside, and Ozzy's actually gonna beat it out. Gwyn on the ground, but it's gonna be right at Jackie. Well, we started a little bit of a comeback in the late innings, but we were just down by so many. I mean, when you're down nine to one heading into the end of the game, I mean, there's nothing you're going to do. Patino and Mackenzie Gore, they suck today. But it was also the fact that we had the pitching glitch and I had to use meter and I missed my spots and nothing really went where I wanted it to and it was just, it wasn't a very good game, but we did have Fernando Tatis going three for four. That was nice to see. Steve Finley got a homer. Francisco Mejia got a homer. My bronze catcher. That was awesome. So, you know, fun game, but we would have liked to have done it a little better. So, yeah, my opponent definitely outplayed me today, but GG to him. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like on it, subscribe to this channel because we're doing the other 29 team builds. So stay tuned for that. When I do your favorite team or if the Padres are your favorite team, be sure to leave a like on this because I just embarrassed you. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you guys later.